Thank you. For the appetizer, it would have to be a scallop ceviche served with a cream of fresh pea and mint soup. For the entree, you know, I've, I've got to go with the beef wellington. Wow, that's mm. one of my signature dishes. Uh, I'm well aware. A tall order, and it took me a good few years to perfect. If it's done right, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I love your confidence, Chad. I absolutely love it. And for dessert? For dessert, um, I have to go with uh, nectarine grapes. Wow. Again, another one of my favorite dishes. <laughs> We've totally squared off in the big cook-off here between a restaurant-style menu yeah. and a home-cooked menu. Humble. Home style, right. but done with a modern twist. Right. If he underestimates Whitney, he's got another thing coming. Ed's bitten everybody in the backside before. David will prepare scallop ceviche with fresh pea and mint soup appetizer, followed by beef wellington and ending with a nectarine crepe. If he pulls this menu off mm -hmm. with that level of intricacy, he's going to kick her butt. Right. Let's get that right. Let's look at the appetizers. I am fascinated to taste that marinated ceviche scallop yeah. and the chilled pea soup. Again, as always, from David Middle, a lot of unorthodox, untraditional technique that sometimes has led to victory. Let's see what he does today. We let the scallop ceviche bright, spicy, alongside this creamy, chill, fresh pea soup with mint. You would never put those together, but I would. With 45 minutes left to go, David and Whitney are now focused on the finish line and putting everything they have into their entrees. Ten minutes left in the first ever final of MasterChef. Keep it going! Here we go! You've got five minutes to go. The last ever five minutes in the Master Chef final. Come on, guys. Keep it going, Whitney. Dave, come on. Keep it going. You did it, baby. You did it. One minute to go. Come on, guys. Come on. guys. Yes. yes. All right, Dave. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop! Bring it! Oh! If you'd asked me six weeks ago whether or not I'd have the opportunity to win MasterChef, I would have said not a chance in hell. Sitting here now, in the final two, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna be America's first MasterChef. There's a lot riding on this one dish that I was presenting to them because I seriously want that title. Like, I want it so bad. Whitney and David will present the three courses one dish at a time for the judges to taste. The finalist with the best overall meal will become America's first master chef. What a phenomenal two hours. Well done. Thank you, chef. To you both. Good job. OK, appetizers, please. They smell delicious. Dave, please, what is it? We've got a uh, sea scallop ceviche served alongside a cream of fresh pea and mint soup. Wonderful. David, do you pour the soup over or just sip? Personally, I would not eat them together. They're there as a complete and total contrast separately. Sorry, excuse me. Just stop there. You wouldn't eat them together, so why are they on the same plate? Um, again, they independently, they don't work. So it's not an appetizer, it's two courses on one plate. I did it intentionally so that they would be separate. Parts. OK, let's go.
you just run through what exactly you put in the bottle of the shot glass with the scallops? There is a touch of, maybe more than a touch of, uh, jalapenos. Got that song. <coughs> okay. Whitney, thank you. Entrees, please. Okay. Dave, explain exactly what your dish is, please. It is a traditional beef wellington, beef tenderloin wrapped with prosciutto, a ducelle of mushrooms, a touch of uh, foie gras pâté, wrapped in puff pastry, and uh, bait. I've made these a thousand times. I'm so excited to taste this. I want this sort of almost to melt in my mouth. Is that my expectation? Yes, chef. Help me to understand. Why would you pick a dish that took me a thousand times to get right? You're good enough to be perfect. That's what I tried to say to you earlier. Use your time wisely. I've seen you focus in a way that is so admirable. Right. Dave, what is that? It is a uh, nectarine crepe Suzette style. Talk to me about the nectarines. What did you do? Sauteed them in butter, and brown sugar, and flambéed with cognac. The secret of a good crepe is the color, and the thinness, and the texture, and of course, the filling. Crepes, nice and thin. That's good. Really good indeed. I think I like the filling a little better than the actual crepe on this one. It's very, very bon. Very good. Merci. Well done to you both. This has been a very tough decision. And the winner of America's first ever MasterChef comes with a quarter million dollars and a unique opportunity, your very own cookbook. It doesn't get any better than that. And that person is the winner of America's first ever MasterChef goes to